Welcome back to the Full Stack JavaScript. This is a project where we will be building message board, but instead of the memory store or some RESTful APIs, we will be using Parse SDK. Parse SDK provides the backbone methods, which we will be using. So let's start with index.html. First, we need to include all the libraries. We do it using the script tags. And the parse library is coming from the parse CDN, and it's important to use version 1.5.0. Then we have the scaffolding, which is an empty HTML. There is nothing in there, but our backbone code will populate that HTML with proper HTML from the templates and from the data. So let's take a look at this app.js file which we include at the last script tag. The file starts with the already familiar you required JS notation. So we're requiring the template and we're using the text plugin. And if you can go into the libs, you can see I have require.js and I have text.js. So the text.js, that's what enables us to include the plain text files, not JavaScript files. Then another important key here is that we need to initialize parse. This is the same thing we did when we used the um, SDK. Now you're already familiar with Backbone, you know what is Backbone router. We have some routes, empty routes and asterisk actions, basically a wildcard. So any fragment in the URL will give us the home method. The home method will create a home view and render it. So let's go to the home view. In home view, we have element with the ID content. Then the, our template is home TPL. And we have just one event, which is click hash sign send or ID send and it calls save message. So let's take a look at save message. Save message uses the ID new dash message. That is the form. I'm using the form ID to find the username and message. I'm getting the values and then I'm adding it to collection. So that's it. One more interesting thing in the home view is that we have this collection.on so every time we add like this every time we add an element to the collection we will have the subject saved okay and uh, let me scroll up back to the home view just here in the render we're using the template from this.template and we're passing the collection. So let's take a look at the template itself for the home view, which is home.html. So we start with our Twitter bootstrap styles, then we have a table, we have messages, so it should look familiar to you. We already used this table before. And then we basically check if the model is defined, if it's defined, and uh, we have some items. So that means it's not empty. Then we iterate and the output rows, one row for each message. And then we have our form here at the bottom, which will enable us to send the new messages to the server. And back to the app.js, the footer and um, header, they're very simple. All we're doing is just getting the template and uh, rendering it. Nothing fancy there. What's fancy is this model message and this collection. So message is a collection that we create using parse.object.extend and we pass the class name. This is the class name that you will look for in your dashboard in when you go to parse.com. So this is where you define that name. And this is where parse will store the data. This is the name of your entity the name of your model, the name of your object, okay? And then message board uses that model 
and the syntax is parse. The syntax is parse dot collection dot extend, and then we're using this message board collection uh, in our home view, for example, right here. And by using the collection, collection is using models, so our home view is using that model, and it's using parse to perceive that data. So as you can see, there is no AJAX gets, no AJAX posts. All we're doing is just these two lines. It's beautiful, it's eloquent, it's just very smart. Okay, so let's see how it works in action. I already have my static server. I'm going to go to the browser, let me refresh it. So you saw that the first message was no messages, and then we waited a little bit when the data came back, and then we saw the actual messages. So let me type something. Okay, and we can see the new messages here. And if you go to parts.com and look for that message board or whatever the name of your object is, um, you will see that data there. Okay, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.